Math competitions. Let's talk a little bit about math competitions. I haven't done many videos on math competitions and I sometimes get comments, people asking me to talk a little bit about them. So I thought I'd make this um, short video to discuss my experience with math competitions. So I've competed in a few math competitions. And you might be thinking, oh, you must have done really great in those math competitions. Well, let me tell you a story. So I was preparing for this math competition. It was at a college. Okay, it was a math competition at an actual college, out of state. And so I would meet with a professor and a group of students and we would do practice questions from old exams. And it was really fun and I remember thinking, oh, I'm gonna do really well, you know, this is, this is great, you know, I got this. And then the day of the contest came, so I have some traffic here, it's got some road work. And I took the test and I answered every single question. I answered every single question on that math competition and I gave full solutions to everything. And I thought that I had a chance of winning or at least scoring in the top 10. I certainly thought that I did better than everyone else at my school who took it. I was, I was convinced, <laughs> I was convinced that I was gonna do better than everyone else who took it at my school. I think, I think it was like six or seven people at my college who took it. And, and we, took, we took the competition, even though the competition was at another school out of state, we actually took the, con the competition at my college and then I guess somehow the results were sent there and they were graded and we got the results. So fast forward, it took like a month or so, there was this uh, paper that they hung up publicly. They, they, they displayed this for everyone to see, <laughs> which I don't know, is that legal? I guess it is, it's grades, FERPA and everything, but I guess it's a math competition, so it's not grades. Uh, so they put it up, it was in like this like math student lounge area my directions here and they had a list of names and they had like the top score and I think someone in in my school scored like a 63% that was the highest grade so I, I did not get the 63% so when I saw that I was like oh god I, I, must, I, I got below a 63 that's really bad so I looked I kept going down the list and my name was on the bottom of the list and I scored a 2% that's right I scored a 2% on this math contest. And I was defeated. I could not believe it. So that's my experience with math contests. It's a pretty lame story. Um, I scored a 2%, but I don't regret it. I think it was a good experience. I enjoyed the, uh, the sessions I went to. And I also prepared for the Putnam. The Putnam contest is considered by many people to be well, it's the most prestigious math contest, perhaps, in the U.S. However, I did not compete in the Putnam. Uh, I just went to uh, the practice sessions a couple times because it was kind of fun. Now, you might say, you got a 2% on this math contest, but you're still able to go to college and get some math degrees. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have this book at home. It's a really good book. It's... Uh, I think it's in this book. It's called The Mathematician Survival Guide. It's written by a mathematician named Stephen Krantz, who teaches or taught, I'm not sure if he's still there, at uh, Washington University of St. Louis, which is a great school. Anyways, in his book, A Mathematician Survival Guide, I'm pretty sure it was in this book. Pretty sure I read it there. He talks about math contests, and he talks about how your performance on math contests should not be an indicator as to your performance on higher level math. So, so if you're watching this and you're thinking, ah, oh, I'm really bad at math contests. I can never get a math degree. That, that's not true. Just because you're not good at competition problems doesn't mean you're not good at math, okay? They're, they're, they're different things. Those competition problems are hard, okay? They're really tough. Um, and they take some quick thinking and 
some strong, strong math skills. Now, obviously, if you're good at math contests, you're probably going to do good at math, but there is not a... Uh, here's my turn. almost missed it. Uh, you know, there's not a one-to-one -one correspondence between your performance on math tests and your performance as a math major or in math grad school. So, something to keep in mind. Math contests aren't like this, like, you know, oh, if you can't perform, then you can't, you can't pass math. No, it's not true. I mean, I'm a good example. I'm okay at math, and I got a 2%, and I got some degrees. So, if I can do it, you can do it, right? So, yeah. And there's plenty of people who don't even compete in math contests, right? And, and they do great. Now, if you have the opportunity to compete in a math contest, I definitely think you should do it. I, th I think it's a good experience. I, I look back on my experience preparing for this exam and no regrets. And it makes for a funny story. I got a 2% on a math contest. I mean, wow, 2%. Ridiculous, right? Ridiculous. And th the worst part about it is that I was convinced, I was so convinced that I was going to do so much better than my classmates because in the math classes, I was getting A's. I was usually like, I usually had one of the highest grades in the class. I was doing better than most of the people there. There was one guy there who was, who was an advanced calculus. He was a super nerd. He, he did better than I did. Yeah, this really skinny goth kid. He's a really weird kid. He's really cool, though, but he, he dressed strange. And he, uh, he did really well. He did really, really well. So, yeah. So, yeah, it was a shocking, shocking experience. So, math contests. Worth doing. Not the end of the world if you don't do well. Definitely worth participating. What do you think about math contests? Have you competed in math contests? What's your experience with math competitions? Are you competing in any... Are you thinking about competing in any? And have you competed? If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. Oh, almost at my location. Uh, subscribe if you want to. Also, I'm actually driving now. I'm driving to a lake to make some videos for my other channel. Subscribe to the Internet Sourcer. I post all kinds of random content there, including some travel videos. So I'm doing some traveling to make videos uh, for my other channel. So, yeah, subscribe there, Internet Sorcerer, if you want. And I have math courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com, so check those out. They're actually on Udemy, but if you use the links from my website, you get a low price, and it helps me. So check it out, mathsorcerer.com. Math competitions. Worth it, but not the end of the world if you don't do great. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.